Hello dear friends welcome to Shiksha Mantra and here in Shiksha Mantra we have a discussion a very very much interesting one and this time it's regarding the uses of passive voice yes dear friends for so many times you have learned how to transform active voice into passive voice but have you ever considered what are the preconditions where you have to use passive voice successfully in a sentence most of the time i have found my students getting confused regarding what to use whether the verb should be used in active or passive voice just forget about changing transforming the active into passive or the passive into active rather your focus must be on the fact that you have to produce a sentence now your concern is whether the sentence would be produced in active or passive voice so let me show you some points with which you can very very easily understand this so let's begin a fresh edu vlogging in shiksha mantra Yes dear friends before we start this discussion it's better for me to show you something do you know what's this yeah this is a very antique old piece of ball yes that very simple ball with which we play we play cricket we play tennis or we play so many other games and now this ball will teach us whether we have to use active voice or passive voice but what we normally do with a ball we throw it we throw it up and catch it we throw and catch we throw the ball we throw the ball we throw the ball throw the ball throw the ball throw the ball now who is throwing the ball i so i throw the ball i throw the ball i catch the ball i catch the ball so i throw the ball and i catch the ball now just follow throw this is the verb now who is doing this action i i am the doer of the action and who is receiving this action the ball is receiving the action i throw the ball that means i am the doer of the action and the ball is the receiver of the action yes dear friends in a sentence when we produce a sentence in english language the key factor is the action here the action is throw and the person who is doing this action is the doer actually he or that person or that noun or that pronoun who is the doer of the action is the original subject of the action and there would be the object that means who is receiving the action when you use the doer as the subject of the verb the subject of the action the sentence demands active because here the doer remains active and when you use the object if i say the ball i would say the ball is thrown by me the ball is thrown by me now what happens the ball this is the receiver of the action that is the object and when i use the receiver of the action as the subject of the verb obviously we have to use it in passive mode it's very simple just consider who is in which position if you find the doer of the verb the doer of the action is in subject that means you are producing a sentence with the doer as the subject obviously you'd have to produce the sentence in active voice but what happens if you use the ball that is the receiver of the action as the subject you have to use passive voice you have to say the ball is thrown by me or the ball is catch by me so the ball is thrown by me the ball is catch by me in passive voice it's very simple just consider if the subject is the doer or the receiver of the action with the doer of the action as the subject of the verb you have to use active voice and with the receiver of the action as the subject of the verb 
you have to use passive voice that's it so simple it is so just remember it and don't make any mistake in formation of active and passive sentences in your writing or in your speech so that's all from this edge of blogging we are returning very soon with another fresh edge of blogging till then bye bye happy learning